It's J-Dub, California guy, Costa Rica guy, and now Delray Beach golf and lifestyle real estate specialist. A couple weeks ago, I gave you a tour of the settlement district. It's a neighborhood tour of this part of town that's going crazy right now. You can find that up there and go ahead and while you're there, click on it, give me some comments, let me know what your thoughts are, because today we're gonna do part two of the set and we're looking at the west side. So basically it's south of Atlantic, right up against Interstate 95. And in this area, there's a lot of really cool commercial development stuff about to happen. There's also apartment buildings, there's single family residences, there's middle schools, churches, and there's also a cemetery and commercial stuff. So this area is a lot going on. So before we do that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you get access to all this information. And also give me a thumbs up, would you? I'd really appreciate that. Let me know what you like about these neighborhood tours. I plan on doing a lot more of these because people say they love it and Delray Beach has lots of nooks and crannies. But you know what? Time for me to stop talking. Let's get on with the tour. So what's interesting about the set district uh, from Swinton to the I-95 on the south side in today's part two uh, neighborhood tour is the commercial section. So I am on Atlantic Avenue and in between uh, 8th Avenue and 6th Avenue right here is the future site of a large development that's currently being negotiated with the city of Delray Beach. It is on, it's off, but basically there's 7th Avenue. Between 6th Avenue and everything here on the right, between 6th Avenue and 8th Avenue is a future commercial development with a large anchor tenant. Uh, it has not been, as of July 2020, it has not been disclosed. On the left-hand side, it already has employee housing with apartments, but all this vacant land, which is two city blocks from 6th to 8th Avenue, and all the way down here to 1st Street, will one day be a big, large commercial development. In part one of the set neighborhood tour here in Delray, last time I focused on the southeast side and today we're looking at the southwest side, which is the side closer to I-95. And as you notice, you know, even on this side, there's quite a bit of new development. Uh, here's a Airbnb property that's been completely redeveloped. And you'll notice very similar, older style homes, mostly, you know, from the 50s and 60s. Of course, you do have duplexes and triplexes and apartments that are uh, being redeveloped. Um, very clean neighborhoods. We're going down 8th Avenue. And this is an area that has been habitated here for, gosh, the last century. And most of the folks still live in this area. You see there's quite a bit of empty land. This is a, a little plot, probably a five acre section that is already slated with, uh, with, with future home sites on it. And you'll notice on a lot of these streets, you'll get big, large homes like this one that act as the centerpiece for the neighborhood. And here on 14th Avenue and 2nd Street, you know, you, you can tell we have wide streets, a lot of really nice older style homes, beautiful little porches and terraces. And here on 17th Avenue, as you can see, is right next to I-95. Uh, we have on the right side the Catherine Strong Park, as well as the community, as you'll see in a different video that I'm doing about community greening. They've been donating and working and planting trees all throughout the community. Here's a fruit orchard there where they plant all sorts of mangoes and tropical fruits uh, that is all ripe for the people to come in and uh, take a look at. So a little bit about uh, the community greening and I'll have a whole video about this group that's doing some great work here in Delray Beach. And heading east we have the Catherine Strong Park that has been renovated for kids with a lot of brand new uh, 
playground area, which is just on the south side. It has tennis courts, and it's just on the south side of Carver Park, which is more residential. Uh, and this is only two blocks away from I-95. You can see there's homes for sale. There's actually been quite a few sales here in 2020 as prices are still, you know, under $350,000 range and uh, an area that is uh, very desirable with investors. And here on the uh, 14th Avenue, we get a lot of mixed use of commercial with uh, apartment buildings, the Villa Square condominium project, which is on the extreme southwest side of the set district. We also have the Village Academy Middle School, which is on the corner of 4th Street and Auburn Avenue. And for here, further on the southwest side, is the Delray Beach Cemetery at the corner of 8th Avenue and 7th Street that goes all the way down to 10th Street on the south side. And here we are on the southern part. This is the cemetery on the right on 10th Street on the south section of the set. It is hot outside. Summer is here and I had to get myself back indoors to record this final piece. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the set, understanding why this thing is in the path of development and for investors who are looking at getting into some deals, some residential stuff over the next five or seven years or longer, it's time to be buying now. So before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And once again, send me some comments. Let me know what you think because we'll be back for more in part three and possibly the final series of the Settlement District next time.